Hey tribe, it's Richard. We're out here in the Limitless studio and today we're going to take you through a total body yoga workout. So let's begin. Bring your knees into your chest. Just hang out here for a moment. Okay, rock side to side, forward and back. Put your feet on the ground, put your hands over your head. Now lift your butt up and down. Really trying to push off your heel to activate your glutes. And then we hold it and we pick our right foot like an inch off the ground. Just an inch. Really trying to work on that left glute now and work on the front hip flexors of the right leg. Okay, change sides. Lift the left leg up an inch off the ground. Good, and put it down. Grab behind your legs in the student's pose they call happy baby. Okay, turn to your right side and slowly come on to a seated position. We're just doing a little bit of cat and cow action. Grab your shins. Twist to the right, twist to the left. Okay, all fours, hands and knees. Continue with that cat and cow. Then downward facing dog. So this is how you do downward facing dogs. You put your palms flat on the ground, spin your elbows in tight, lift your knees two inches off the ground, then send your butt all the way back. Okay, drop to your knees, sit back to your shins. Let's do that cat and cow action again. Okay, good. Back to downward facing dog. Step your right foot between your hands. Step your left foot between your hands. Look halfway up. Fold down. Come all the way up. Hands to your heart. Hands all the way up. Hands all the way down, look halfway up, step back with the right, step back with the left, drop to your knees, come into Cobra, downward facing dog. Step the left foot between the hands, step the right foot between the hand, look halfway up, fold down, come all the way up. Hands to your heart. Hands all the way up. Fold all the way down. Look halfway up. Fold in. Step back with the left. Step back with the right. Drop to your knees. Come into Cobra. Downward facing dog. Okay, step the right foot between your hands. 
stay on the ball of the left foot and come straight up like so. If you can, have your palms touch. If not, just keep your hands up top. Try to straighten your arms fully. If you can't get overhead, slightly ahead. So we're going to bring the knees an inch from the ground. Don't, don't touch. Come all the way up, straighten both legs out. Slowly straighten. Straighten. Okay, two more reps. Try to get your balance. If you're off balance, walk your right foot out to the right a little bit more. Therefore, you have a wider base so you can stabilize a lot better. Now bend the right knee. Let's hold what they call crescent pose. Okay, put the left hand down, twist. If you have to, drop your knee down. Good, put the hand down to the outside of the right foot. Step back with the right, drop to your knees, come into Cobra. Downward facing dog. Okay, step with the left foot in front. Maybe this time we walk the left foot to the left a little bit more. Stay on the ball of the back foot, crescent pose. Either hands overhead, hands, palms touching, or arms out in front a little bit. But let's really try to get the arms straight as possible. You drop the back knee an inch from the ground, don't touch. Come up, straighten both legs out. Straighten both legs out, bend, straighten, bend, straighten, bend, straighten, hold. Now bend that back knee, your I mean front knee, and come into the crescent pose. Okay, right hand down, left hand up. He put the left hand onto the outside of the, of the left foot. Step back, drop to your knees, come to Cobra. Downward facing dog. Okay, step the right foot between your hands again. Let's come right back up to that crescent pose. Okay, let's go down with that knee again. Five reps, five lunges. Then hold, straighten. Now bend that back knee again. Hold. Okay, left hand to the ground, right hand in the air, hold. And I drop that left knee down and then come back into the side plank like this. If you want to take it up another level, lift that left knee up off the ground and side plank like this. Try to really lift your collarbone up, tuck your chin in. Good, right palm down, drop to your knees. Cobra, downward facing dog. Okay, step the left foot up. Walk the left foot to the left a little bit. Crescent pose. Okay. Let's go with our lunges. Five reps. Don't tap, don't tap the ground. Become like an inch from the ground.
Good. Now hold it. Hold the crescent pose. Okay, the twist. Okay, drop the back knee down, side plank. Stay like this, or pick up the back leg and stack your feet on top of each other. Good. Put the left hand down, drop to your knees, come to Cobra. Downward facing dog. Okay, step the right foot between your hands. Let's do that crescent pose again. Okay, five lunges. Straighten. Now rebend that front knee. Hold. Drive that left heel to the ground. Okay, twist. Hold. Breathe in the hold. Okay, bend that left knee and put it on the ground. Come into side angle. Maybe pick up that. Left knee and stack your feet, or maybe even lift the right leg up in the air and hold. Okay, come back to plank position. Okay, mountain climbers. Good, come all the way down into cobra, downward facing dog. You step the left foot between your hands, crescent pose, hold. Okay, up and down with the lunges. Straighten both legs out, then bend the front knee, twist. Really try to get your spine as long as possible. Tuck your chin in slightly to elongate the back of the neck. Drop the back, the right knee, side plank. This is the first option, second option, third option. Okay, put it down, mountain climbers. Good, drop to your knees, come into Cobra, then downward, I mean, child's pose. Let's relax here for a minute. Okay, we're gonna start cooling it down a little bit. Downward facing dog. Step the right foot to the outside. Drop the back knee and come into what they call lizard pose. Maybe you can come to the outside of the right foot, really stretch out that right outer hip, the glute, even the groin. This hole here, or you can play with it, add a little bit of movement. But after you're done adding all the movement that you want to, just kind of just hold and stay steady. Okay, good. Back to downward facing dog. Step the left foot to the outside, drop the right knee down. Come to the outside of the left foot like this. Play with it a little bit. 
and then hold. And by holding, you kind of just activate the parasympathetic nervous system. And this is the, the, ner the part of the nervous system that allows you to relax, to calm down. It's kind of like the brakes on a car. So now we're just kind of calming our nervous system down. Good. Back to child's pose. And then lay down on your back for relaxation. Okay, slowly start coming back to your body. Reach your hands over your head. Come into the baby position. And slowly come all the way up. Good. And sit up in a nice, comfortable seated position. Rub your hands together. Put your hands at your heart. And I just want to thank you all for being my teacher today. Until next time, be limitless. Peace.